Diamond pass? Level 15? Clash Royale dying? Nerfed gold pass? Party mode ruined? Wake up! It's 2016! We have a clan chest to complete! With the current balance, level 14 miner now deals the same da crown tower damage as a level 1 miner did when it first released. 64, level 1 and 14. Well, to be fair, they revamped it, so technically this is level 9 standard. Not that bad. Endless special challenges! Super Archer Challenge! 100 gems to continue. Okay, they meant endless challenges for the regular challenges to get the season tokens. And they just re-added these Archer Challenges. No supercell. No one is buying this. Eighteen dollars for the diamond pass. Is that eighteen dollars Canadian? I mean, if you if you hate money, go to OJ. <laughs> it's not as good value as the old gold pass was when it was five dollars. Well, like I guess in seven dollars Canadian. <laughs> this is mega draft from Power League. This is so true. Seven minutes for a game? Are you kidding me? Wow, nobody is buying the pass. You're not going to want to miss out on this next gen mobile game. That's also the sponsor of this video. Hunter Fever. I like how it's got um, real time card strategy. Real time card strategy. Really good offline play and puzzles. Avocados. Battle Royale. Everything. Hyper Fever. All right, as amazing as this game looks, I don't think the world is quite ready for something like that yet, but we are ready for our real sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. In Raid, you can collect over 650 unique champions and take on bosses or other players in PvP. It has amazing PC quality graphics, and best of all, it's free to play. What I love about this game is just how strategic it is. Let's jump into the mechanics of a few dungeon bosses. When taking on the Spider's Den, you'll need a lot of AoE champions to take out all of them pesky spider babies. Sorry, Mama Spider. With the ice golem he can annoyingly revive his minions when he casts frigid vengeance champions like luria or conqueror have skills that can block this revive so he can take out the boss a lot quicker i also love summoning and collecting champions at the tavern you never know if you'll get an s tier champ to build next and this month raid is gonna have an egg hunt not just rabbit eggs though wait rabbits have eggs in raid you get to hunt for dragon eggs download raid using the link below and head over to egghunt.plarium.com between april 14th and may 15th where you can enter your player id to play an exciting ar adventure Find the egg inside the dragon's lair, and you can win items in-game and even real-life prizes like Amazon gift cards. Existing raid players can join in on the excellent fun as well. Go to egghunt.plarium.com and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in-game. So while we're all waiting for a game like Hyper Fever to come out, jump onto Raid. Use the link below or the QR code on screen, and you'll get all this bonus stuff for free, which includes the epic champion Talia. A quick message to our players. Hey everyone, I'm Max, and we Drew. Uh, just a quick message to let you know that we're seeing your feedback and we know that the update has not been received positively. Yeah, uh, we we are aware and we just want to let you know that uh, changes do take time to implement and we can't so they've, say... They, like, they've basically been in meetings and they're happen, aware of how... We did just want to let you know that we're not ignoring you. We appreciate your feedback. Horrible it. this update and, was. Um, yeah. yeah, discussions are underway and as soon as we have something to share with you, we will. So thank you. They destroyed Path of Legends. They gutted Grand Challenges. Trophy Road and events are the definition of casual. I have nothing left. He says this with full seriousness too, which is a little sad. Especially when you're covering more competitive content. He's, he's goofy, but it, his content is really high level. So it's serious pro content. They did make it really hard for a lot of content creators, but they did add the 12 win grand challenges after that tweet. So we got that going for us and it's 10,000 season tokens. Pretty good value. Now everyone can get an archer queen. Mega draft on ladder. Oh no. This is when they force you to play cards at your own level. <laughs> level one recruits. Why is my loading screen like that? Clone cell. Let's all thank Brad for rooting the new player experiences. He saved them from spending hundreds of dollars on this game. <laughs> I like how he had to wear a clown costume. Not because of the update, but because in his previous video, he lost the bet with Cashman. Coincidence? I think not. Make horrendous update. Community mad. We made an oopsie saw we oo woo. Community forgives and forgets. Please nobody clip me saying oo woo. I kind of wish there was a surrender button, but I also don't imagine how frustrating that would be if you're about to do a really big push and then they just end it. You don't get the satisfaction. These were the stats for level 18 cards. Tell me you lost without saying you lost. Well, if they pick super mini P.E.K.K.A, you just pick super mini P.E.K.K.A counters and then you go sign a hog and you support something in the back. But if they pick super archers, you're literally not going to win unless you have goblin drill or something to back end with like graveyard. 
We still have to wait to get the big picture. We can't promise anything now, and the community's feedback on the subjects is very clear. Translation, we know we messed up, and we have to wait to see if we lose enough money to actually change something. Well, not quite. They want to see if people actually enjoy it. It's not about the money, or is it? <laughs> no, it's not. They are a business, but their number one priority is player satisfaction. I'm going to get hate on the comments and on Reddit for saying that. Ugh. And everyone in the comments is going to be like, oh! It's because OJ is paid by them, so he has to say these nice things to them. No! You stink, Drew. Go shower. That was uncalled for. He doesn't stink. Clock tower? What the? Huh? <laughs> oh, it goes backwards. Mammoth. It. Oh, my. It boosted the P.E.K.K.A. forward. That would break the game. I love this. Like a Zelda mechanic. Oh, wow, that sucks. Imagine you have to draft and you have some level eights, some level nines, some champions not even unlocked. Which super card is the best in the game? Well, in a competitive setting, it would be Super Archers, then Super Mini P.E.K.K.A., then Super Magic Archer, then Santa Hog, then Lava Hound. Ice Golem, 29%. No, 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 that's... It's only 29% because they're playing the seven other cards. I'm the dumbest man alive, I buy... Oh, I, I, I guess I'm dumb. <laughs> I can't not collect it. I have every I have every banner. Don't I? 260. There's 262. Don't play with me like that, Supercell. Okay, I just collected the one in game. So I have most banners in the world with among 45 other people. Whew. That was a scare. I thought I didn't buy one. I have to buy it because of that. I don't, then I'm not number one in the world. The only way I can be number one in Clash Royale is if I spend money. This task has become a lot more difficult. <laughs> it's so true. I don't want to play a ladder. Thank you, Supercell. This is what I needed. <laughs> 3,000 tokens converted to gold. <laughs> you don't have to close one eye to aim a bow, but if you do, this is the wrong one. <laughs> really? I, I always thought you did have to close one. No? Oh. I'm not an archer. I wouldn't know. There's a typo in the description. Oh no. The dreaded 266 card. The what card? How do you get that to 266? Oh my god. Banning players from certain locations ended the career of a lot of top players. My understanding is that by law, there's geopolitical things in play that cause these sanctions. And I don't think it was a direct supercell decision to do this. Archer Queen costs 35,000 and you can spend the entire season and still not afford it. Well, they added challenges so you can afford it. <laughs> Got it. One point for Supercell. What now, Reddit? Since all of you suck in Super Draft, here's an easy guide. Step one, always pick Super Mini Pack. Technically, Super Archers are better. This is Arena 10, and he's level 9 with a level 12 Archer Queen. Please tell me how you got championed. <laughs> well, you see with the season pass. Things that are cheaper than the wild card offer. $55? This whole Lego set is 49. Dang. Battle banner. Show me a trash update. Battle banners. I said a trash update. Clan Wars 2. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Battle banners was actually kind of cool. It didn't cost us anything. And they introduced the banner tokens. Oh, wait, but didn't banner tokens take away our gold rewards? <laughs> did. Oh, nar. Perfection. It's the update for losers. Drew's asking, why is 50 gems instead of 100 gems for a grand challenge a bad thing? Before reading any of the replies, I'm going to say because it's going to take more to grind the rewards now. It, de it devalues the profile badge. Uh, it's two times slower for resources. Yeah, makes sense. How does it devalue the badge? Because it's, it's a cheaper barrier of entry. People with free to play gems are able to enter those more often, where I'm assuming that if you're a hardcore Clash Royale player, you don't mind spending $5 a month to get a couple gems here and there so that you can enter these grand challenges. I do like that they added Mega Draft into challenges, but that should have been 50 gems. Grand challenges should have been 100 gems. I don't know if I should be surprised. Wasn't that the whole point of the update? Update for losers. They they meant for the first mode. I, I thought that was kind of clear because people were also confused that the season pass still offered free continues. I think that that was differentiating the regular modes to farm season tokens versus the actual challenges. I'm not trying to defend Supercell's decision, but I feel like it just wasn't clearly communicated that there's a differentiation between the first mode and the challenge modes that propagate underneath. There's way too many rewards here for this to be free. Oh no, I'm on the front page of Reddit. I made a video addressing all the- Yeah, it's my podcast. Check it out. Peeling the orange. The only way to win against Super Mini P.E.K.K.A. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> we need to see that again. They put down the super mini P.E.K.K.A. Super Archer pierces everyone. And then just goes straight for the three crown. Oh my god. Ooh, we do love Google Trends. This is with the peak clash. This is the peak clash of clans at 100% in 2018. This is the baseline. Clash of clans going down a little bit. Clash Rail is the yellow one. Peak tier. Champions. And decline, 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 decline. Oh, Brawl Stars was... What happened to Brawl Stars here? Oh my... Oh. Global happened. <laughs> I was like, what, what happened here? Level 11? No. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Heyday is doing the best it ever has. And it's almost beating Clash Rail right now. Time to cover some Heyday content. Be sure to use code OJ in the Heyday shop. A rotate spell. <laughs> Mehmet, you're insane. I can watch this all day. It's actually so well animated. Holy crap. Oh, I'm drained. I love the game. I don't agree with the update, but that was draining looking at all those negative comments on Reddit. I don't disagree with them, but after reading all that negativity for an hour, that's draining. On to Brawl Stars where, <laughs> where the grass is greener. I dare you to kiss the hottest person in the room, Amber. Yes, Lola? <laughs> Step aside, I need to kiss the mirror. <laughs> that's a good one. Easter eggs are insane. What? You got Spike? What do you mean you got Spike? Edgar broke his phone. Oh, into the smoke. Into the smoke again. <laughs> and he jumps. Oh, that's so good. That was a really good gene play. Every brawler so far. I think there's like, what, 68? Holy moly. Gotta catch them all. Thoughts on the new good randoms? It's a play on Backstreet Boys. It's really cool. You made this ash plushie? How did you how do you just make it? People can make plushies? That's a thing? You can use will to prevent a definite goal. Oh my god! The mortis even thumbed down. That's amazing! Holy crap! What in the podcast they mentioned that Edgar is very polarizing. In low levels, he's very popular. In high levels, once people start to know how to play against him, he's really bad. He's in a weird spot of uh the <clears throat> My name is OJ, and this is the Juicy News Network.